Hey, computer. Hello. <laughs> I've emerged from the dungeon of um, the, the, the cybersecurity class I'm taking. Um, I have this week off so I can stream. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, congratulations to Nerval Fubbaloo for getting first. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Charts, maps, data. M mostly just the, the, this. <laughs> um, hold on. I can open paint, though, if I need to, like, draw <laughs> to demonstrate how good or bad a video game is. Hello, first. <laughs> Uh, right, Dia is also here and is free from ad jail, and, uh, Dorothy, thanks for the six months of money. Thank you. <laughs> uh, hello. I have many opinions, and I'm going to share them with you. <laughs> um, I haven't, so I'm only going to rank the ones I've played. I have not played every game in here, especially because one of them is, like, Sonic Patrol car thing like only exists in Japan and probably not anywhere anymore. <laughs> Hi, Misha. <laughs> um, some of these will be easy. So, oh, this will be really easy. Okay, so this one is at 100% on Sonic games. No, I mean, some of them are like obscure and bad. <laughs> um, all right, so starting off the list, this is. This is Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, which is a Game Boy Advance port of Sonic 1. It's really bad. <laughs> they, I don't know how they made it so bad, but like the sound is off. The game lags. Um, it's just like randomly slows down. It's just a Genesis game running on a Game Boy Advance and they did it so bad. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's this game. It's just Sonic 1, which is fine, but it's a really, really bad port. Um, don't ever play this. <laughs> um, I don't know what this Tales and the Music Maker thing is. I think it's also, like, a weird arcade game that, like, doesn't really exist anymore. You gonna play it briefly to explain how garbage of a port it is? Yeah, I could, like, like, I wouldn't even really have to do much. Like, if I, like, I might have a ROM of it, but I could get one. But, like, I would just play Green Hill and you could just see how bad it is. Um, I don't know what the... I haven't played this. I don't know what this is, but I don't think I've played it. It doesn't have any text on it or anything. Sonic Jam for the game.com. I think I've had a game.com. I know this game is really bad. <laughs> uh, but it's... Eh, I haven't played it. Um, Alright, this is... Sonic CD is really good. It's got time travel. It's like a little weird if you go into it expecting like a normal sonic game which you can play it as one but like to get the good ending you kind of have to like explore around all the levels and like find like you have to go to the past and blow up like robot generators or just do all the special stages either of those work but it's cool that there's like alternate objectives in levels in this game and the time travel stuff is fun uh it's like It's basically never useful to go to the future. <laughs> um, but it's cool that you can. <laughs> I kind of wish they would make another Sonic game with like weird time travel mechanics like this one. I love time travel, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, Sonic Pinball Party. I don't think I've ever played that one. I've heard it's like alright though. Uh, I've most It mostly makes me think of like Pokemon Pinball on like Game Boy Color. Which I have played and is really good. Oh, hi, Yuna. <laughs> How's it going? Hi, <laughs> Eskel. Oh, no, we are doing this? Yeah, it's... There's only a few. <laughs> um... I was gonna say, I don't know why the collections are on here, but, like, they count, I guess. It's only gonna end poorly. It's fine. I'm travel idea makes me imagine Sonic going so fast he gets to hit you multiple times at once. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the way they do it in this is basically just a Back to the Future reference. Like, you just collect a little signpost that says future or past, and then if you run really fast for long enough, you time travel. Yuna's blue-haired now. She had a redesign. Oh, I haven't seen that. Good. Now we match. <laughs> I 
I did not realize it scrolls down. Oh, yeah. Um, There's several. Sonic Advance 3. I remember hearing that people did not like this game. But I thought it was all right. It did. I don't really remember a lot about the levels in the game, but it lets you do like different pairs of Sonic characters. Like you can have instead of just like playing as Sonic with Tails following him, you can like be Knuckles with Amy following you or whatever. And they have like different like tag team moves. And just for that, it's like cool. It's like a neat mechanic that like having different like sets of characters lets you like have a different move set and stuff um i don't have the heart to put sonic 06 any lower than d i'm putting it straight in e the game's bad <laughs> uh i mean sonic genesis is like at least as bad i would say <laughs> game is just brimming with i guess yeah like you can tell they were trying to do something but it's just not good <laughs> Um, Free Riders, I haven't played the Connect game. I never had a 360. 06 goes in its own tier. Yikes tier? I don't know. A really, really bad port of a Sega Genesis game to a Game Boy Advance is also pretty yikes. <laughs> like, how did they make this this bad? <laughs> game is broken as 06 comes out weekly these days. Yeah, honestly? <laughs> um, is this just regular Sonic 2? Yeah, Sonic 2 is great. That goes up there. I love Sonic 2. It's kind of funny how Sonic 2 and Sonic CD are sort of both Sonic 2. <laughs> Sonic 2 was made by the uh, Sega in... One of them was made by Sega in the Sega team in America, and the other one was made by Sega in Japan. I forget which is which. Uh, but Sega used to be really weirdly separated in like the 90s. Um, and so they kind of are both Sonic 2. <laughs> Like how Forces is only good if you download the Overclocked mod? I did, and I still didn't like it. <laughs> uh, Knuckles Chaotix exists. <laughs> it's... It... The... <laughs> so, like, the main... If you haven't played Knuckles Chaotix, um, the only... Like, its main kind of gimmick is that... I guess kind of like Sonic Advance 3, you pick two characters... Oh, thanks for the hydrate speed. <laughs> you pick two characters and they're like sort of linked with like a ring that's kind of like has rubber bands them together. And you can also play co-op, which is kind of neat. Um, but the, the, like, it's not, the level design is bad. The, the levels are just kind of like really vertical and like annoying. And it's the animation. Yeah, I got new uh, emotes and such. Um, a like a couple weeks ago, but uh, I haven't been able to stream for a bit because I'm in class. Never ask a man his salary, a woman their height, or Sonic fan which one's the real Sonic 2. <laughs> Waiting for Sonic Shuffle? Oh boy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Knuckles Chaotix has like a cool... I'd probably put it in D, honestly. <laughs> so far, D is... Like, it's a functional video game, but it's not good. E is, this doesn't even work. <laughs> like, playing it is not great. Genuinely dislike Forces more than 06. Yeah, kind, kind of same, honestly. Um, even dislike Lost World more than 06. Yeah, like, Lost World and Forces are just, like, they're boring to me. Sonic 06 is bad, but it's funny in how bad it is. And at least you can kind of, like... It feels like they cared. Sonic Lost World just feels like they were trying to be Super Mario Galaxy really, really hard. And like, it's not good. We'll get to that later. <laughs> um, I haven't played this Olympics game. I've heard most of the Olympics ones are like fine though. I think I have one or two of them. They're like, okay. Just like fun little sports mini games. Um, Waluigi is there. Uh, Sonic Advance is mm, I should move three down I think <laughs> so yeah Knuckles Chaotix has like neat stuff and 
I don't know, it's the only Sonic game on the 32X, which was an add-on for the Genesis that you had to own a Genesis and then buy, like, a separate $200 thing, I think. And, but, like, all the levels are bad. There's no level select. It's, like, random. And there's five acts in every level. So the order that you do them in is random, but also that just kind of means, like, the difficulty curve is all over the place, and it's not good. The final boss fight against a gigantic Metal Sonic is cool, but it's not a good game. <laughs> uh, Sonic Battle is good. I'm probably going to shuffle these around a bunch. <laughs> um, but Sonic Battle is really good. I like this game. It has... It came out, like... I think right after... I think it came out around the same time as Sonic Heroes. But it, like, has, like, the whole, like, adventure cast even chaos is there and it's like just a fun like arena fighter i guess on the game boy advance uh but also you play as a robot guy and uh you can like customize your move set with every single attack that every other character has in the game um and it's really cool it gets kind of grindy but uh it's only if you're like trying to like get every single thing in the game um the plot's neat. It's got stuff. <laughs> you can play multiplayer, but I didn't know anyone else that owned this game. <laughs> I was kind of the only, like, Sonic brain poison person I knew growing up. I'm not a massive Sonic fan, but all I'm saying is you deserve that Frontiers W. Yeah. Frontiers was good. I just wish they had time to, like, finish it. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've played Sonic Blast on the Game Gear. Oh, is that the one that has, like, the 3D sprites? Maybe I have played it a little bit. It's, like, it's, like, fine. <laughs> Severe brain rot. Yeah! Um, Sonic Jam I haven't played, but it's just Sonic 1, 2, and 3 on the Sega Saturn. But also there's, like, a little 3D tiny world you can run around in. Uh, Sonic Mania is good. I feel like I don't need to explain that it's really good, but it's really good. <laughs> um, I, it's good. They should make more games like this sometimes. <laughs> uh, oh, 06. Yeah. Like, I could put this here. It's, I remember there was one time when I was, like, remembering, like, kind of half remembering, like, well, some of the Sonic levels weren't that bad, right? And then I was, like, found the disc, put it in my PS3, waited through 18 loading screens to get to Crisis City, and then was like, oh, right, this game controls terribly, it's bad. <laughs> um, I guess I also played the PS3 version, which is, I think, slightly better. I don't know. It's not good. <laughs> it's like funny though, I guess. It's got that one scene where Shadow uses Chaos Control to kick Silver in the head. It's good. <laughs> oh, hey Garbanzo. Uh, Sonic Gems Collection. I feel like I don't really want to rank the collections, but like, this one's like, it's like okay. It has... It's no use. Yeah! <laughs> I did, I think, have to reset the console once. Um, or, like, restart the fight. Because if you jump above Silver and he throws you up, you will fly up until you hit the skybox, take damage, fall straight back down, and then he will catch you and throw you back up. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, see, Gems Collection is, like, mostly, like, Game Gear and Master System games, which are mostly not good, but it does have Sonic CD and Sonic the Fighters, and I think Sonic R, and those are good, <laughs> but it's like mostly just, it's like three really good games that weren't in Mega Collection and then a bunch of mostly bad games. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess C, it's like, it's fine. 
I bought it entirely just to play Sonic the Fighters. Because, <laughs> at least at the time, you couldn't really emulate that game very well. Uh, the Sonic 4 Episode 1... I feel like I'm going to have to move some of these. <laughs> I feel like I need more tiers, but also less. Sonic 4 is bad. I'm going to put Sonic 4 here, actually. <laughs> Sonic 4 is... It's a... It's a not good Sonic phone game that they marketed as a sequel to the Genesis games. But it's really bad. <laughs> it's so bad. It just, like, the music is, sounds like the Meow Mix commercial. And the levels are just full of, like... You don't really do anything. You kind of just hold the button and like it takes you through like 18 billion springs and you don't do anything. And also if you stop holding right, Sonic stops immediately. There's no momentum at all. It has really bad physics and they put a homing attack in for some reason. It's not a 3D game. They don't need... Ugh, Sonic 4 is not good. <laughs> um... I think if they had just released it as something else and had it just been like a like smartphone exclusive game, it would like people wouldn't be as angry. I wouldn't be as angry about it. <laughs> Cuz it's like it's just kind of a sh like shitty Sonic phone game, but they they ported it to everything and called it Sonic 4 and had this whole marketing thing of like, "Oh, it's returned and you liked Sonic 3, right?" That means this is the next one. But it's so bad. <laughs> Everything about the game is bad. The graphics are kind of ugly. Everything looks like crappy, like plastic and shiny. And it's so, it's not good. It's crazy that the Smash character got so many games. Yeah, let me tell you about growing up and before Sonic Adventure 2 got ported to the GameCube, only like one of my friends growing up knew, like, knew what Sonic was. All of my other friends were only like, oh, Sonic? Yeah, that's that thing Zero likes. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, Sonic Advance 2 is... I should move these up. Hold on. Yeah. Sonic Advance 2, I think, is better than 3, but worse than the first one. But it does, like, it has a lot of cool stuff. <laughs> I like the trick thing. Like, every time after you go off, like, a spring or, like, a little ramp thingy, uh, you can hit R and, like, up or left or right. And you do a little trick, like, kind of get some extra air and stuff. Gimbal, he sneezed on me. <laughs> Um, but the game also does have a lot of, like, gigantic bottomless pits. Uh, that are frustrating. Like, I, I think, like, one of the last levels, like, has a part where, like, it has a bunch of speed boosters and you're going really fast and then, like, you hit a wall abruptly and there's, like, a platform underneath you. But it's one of those platforms that after you step on it, it falls after a second. And if you don't move immediately, you die. <laughs> um... I've, I don't know. Sonic Advance 2 has, like, good gameplay stuff, but a lot of annoying level design <laughs> in some of the levels. Sonic Advance is basically just, like, it's just like a good, like, Genesis game almost. It's just on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> um. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to this. Uh, what else? Yeah. I don't think I've played that Olympics one. I've played like two of them. I think I played the London. No, not that one. One of the more recent ones. I don't know. They're like good. I don't know. Uh, Sonic N is uh, bad. <laughs> it's a really... It's... A, I mean, it's an N-Gage game, so that kind of goes without under, without saying. But it's a N-Gage port of Sonic Advance, but you can only play as Sonic, I think. 
Um, and like the controls are bad because you're playing it on Sonic N is in. <laughs> oh, do I get to explain what the end gauge is? Oh my god. Okay, so the end gauge was a Nokia phone slash game console um, that uh, was really bad. <laughs> it, uh, it like. You had to, like, hold it, like, sideways on your face to talk into it, and it's... It wasn't good. It was bad as a phone, and it was bad as a game console. <laughs> it was like if you made a really bad version of a Game Boy Advance, and then also it's a cell phone, except the speaker and the microphone are on, like, the top of it, so you have to hold it like a taco up to your face. <laughs> I don't like the name, the Engage. Yeah, they were, I don't know, Engage. It was a Nokia phone thing. Um, it's not good. <laughs> uh, Sonic 2 for the Master System. Bad. <laughs> Honestly, I'd put, I'd put that down here. It's, the, the Master System and Game Gear versions of Sonic 1 and 2 are not good. I don't like them at all. <laughs> Fire Emblem Engage. Yes. Done. Eh. There we go. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Engage looks like a printed out Winamp skin. It does. Where? Hi, Lily! <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I disappeared for a sec because my face broke. Which one is the one where Sonic has a sword? Put that one in S? No! I don't like that one that much. Um, Sonic Adventure goes in... A. Um, uh, this is... It's... So it's the GameCube port of Sonic Adventure. The lighting's a little worse. Everything's a little shinier. Sonic has fingers instead of a weird block for hands. And uh, it's got some Game Gear games with it. I think if you get all the emblems, you can unlock a thing where you can play through the levels of Sonic, but you're Metal Sonic. Eh. It's like basically the same game, but the lighting's worse. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Sonic Chronicles is not good. Um, Bioware made a Sonic RPG on the DS, and I don't know what happened to them while they were making it. Uh, but, it, like, the writing is pretty funny. Everything else is bad. The music is really bad. The, like, the gameplay is kind of repetitive. There's a lot of crappy mini games. Um... There are a lot of dialogue options where you can make Sonic be really mean, and it's really funny. But it's not a good video game. <laughs> um, this. Oh, this is like the European box art for Sonic 3? Yeah, Sonic 3 is good. It's half of a game, but it's really good. <laughs> um, oh, Sonic 1 for Master System. Bad. <laughs> Went full on the Sonic flirting with Amy Root? Lol. <laughs> Sega Superstar Tennis, I have never played. Um, I think it's probably fine. Why is... Oh, right, because these are actually two separate games. Um, anyway, the HD version of Sonic Unleashed is... is good. The Werehog levels are... not. <laughs> but the day stages are all... Like, really, really good. Um, and... Yeah, like, the, we the Werehog stages are almost good, except the battle music is the same in every level and darts every five seconds when you fight a new thing. And... I remember at the very end of the game, once I had, like, upgraded the Werehog combat stuff to get all the combos the very end of the game literally the last level i was like oh hey the combat's kind of fun now that i have all these different things i can do um 
but before that, it just it's like they were afraid to release a game that didn't last 800 hours. So they were, were like, well, we made these good levels. We should put some bad levels in the game, too, that waste everyone's time. And also you have to find little medallions so you can do more good levels. Uh, oh, the Wii and the PS2 versions of Unleashed are the same. Um, I haven't played it, so I'm not going to rank it on here. But I think I've heard it's, like, w worse. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> uh, Sonic Shuffle. I had a Dreamcast. Um, Sonic Shuffle is... It came out, like, when, like, Mario Party was first starting to be really popular. And it's that. It's Sonic Mario Party. Except, um... The multiplayer kind of doesn't really work if you don't have a VMU for everyone. And if you don't know what a VMU is, it's the Dreamcast memory cards that have a little screen on it. And, um... Uh... The, like... It's a neat idea of, like, instead of rolling dice in this game, you have, like, a hand of cards you can pick. But also, you can pick other people's cards. Why do we play it so much? Because, I don't know, I <laughs> I kept asking you to play it, and you kept saying okay. <laughs> we didn't have an N64 at the time, right? I always forget. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sonic Shuffle is not good. It's a bad version of Mario Party. <laughs> Mysteries of you. Uh, it's not good. <laughs> I feel like E, so far, is like, bad, do not play it. D is like, bad, but maybe play it if you're curious. <laughs> like, bad, but it has some things going for it that are interesting. <laughs> not even like Mario Party to begin with. Oh, then you'll hate Sonic Shuffle. So Mario Party minigames happen after everyone takes a turn, and if you win the minigame, you get 10 coins, which let you, you know, spend on items, or like, you can spend 20 to get the star in Mario Party. In Sonic Shuffle, uh, you have a hand of cards that you read, draw more of. It's just like one through seven, I think. And there's also like an S card that does like different things depending on what character you are. Um, but you don't need like rings to... I don't... You, you use rings to like buy items and stuff also, but you don't use rings to like... There's no like stars, like the star equivalent are precious stones which you get by fighting a boss which you just use the cards in your hand for like you can get items that help but uh, the mini games just kind of happen whenever someone lands on a mini game space and most of the mini games are kind of bad and very random and if you do poorly at the mini game you lose money <laughs> and if you win you get a little bit of money <laughs> Primary emotion I associate with Sonic Shuffle is grim resignation. Yeah, the only the only good things about Sonic Shuffle are the music and like the opening video. I would boot up the game just to watch the opening video because it was cool and had good music. Um, and then whenever I was like, oh, I should do like the story mode, I would not want to. <laughs> I feel like they could do a good version of it if they did like a Sonic Shuffle 2 now but they don't really seem to be, want to make spin-off games at the moment so <laughs> so I don't think they will anytime soon <laughs> E is bad genuinely D is bad funny sometimes <laughs> yeah I booted up the game just for the intro it was exactly how I was with colors <laughs> uh, this is what the Lego Dimension Sonic stuff oh i've heard it's like really good i've seen like cuts like i guess not cutscenes, but just like videos online of like the funny dialogue in the game it's funny but i didn't have lego dimensions because i didn't want to spend 800 dollars on lego toys um sonic adventure 2 battle is good um it's, it's like it's, it's got the best plot <laughs> I tried that fan kart racing game where I can play a soul bad guy and have my horn be the... Wait, which one? There's multiple now. Um, uh, Sonic Robo Blast 2 kart would be like... I don't know, B tier? But uh, Robotnik's Ring Racers is S tier. I've been playing that a bit last month. It's so good. I have a bunch of characters unlocked. It's really fun. 
Uh, so that's where those would go. I think there's like a third one, honestly. <laughs> uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, I... I only had the regular one. On the GameCube, whatever. This, it's, it's good. It's just got like all the Genesis games and stuff. It feels weird ranking the collections because mostly they're just... Uh, it's just other games that are good. <laughs> Uh, Rush Adventure... I didn't like Rush Adventure as much as Rush, but I did like it a lot. I put that in B. It has good music. The story is funny. Uh, it's got this robot guy who's a pirate. What more could you want? Uh, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. I never played this, but I heard it was, like, significantly better than... The, the like the console version of it like this one was just like a fine like puzzle platformer yeah yeah sonic robo blast 2 cart yeah yeah it's pretty good i like robotnik swing racers better <laughs> that one came out more recently um and is i think based on it or something i don't know <laughs> it's good uh mm. sonic generations is really good uh I would put it in S tier, but the final boss kind of sucks. Um, Time Eater's just not a good fight. <laughs> Watch out. It's a homing attack. Sonic. Um, I don't think I've played this for more than maybe a minute. No, this is a different Sonic Boom, Misha. This one is like, okay, the 3DS one. Uh, This is a phone game that I think I've played for like... Maybe a minute at most. It's just like a jump. Plat it's the, one of those games where like the character jumps automatically and you just move them left and right. It, it exists. <laughs> uh, Sonic Lost World, I've kind of talked about it a little bit. They tried really hard to copy Sonic or uh, Super Mario Galaxy with like, you know, big orb, like levels that are big orbs that have their own gravitational pull and stuff. Um... They even made it more like a Mario game where, like, you have to hold a button to run. Uh, which was a choice. Um, and it has, like, this new cast of villains that are just, like, very, I don't know, generic, like, cartoon villains. And it does have Zelda DLC, yeah. Well, I don't know, it was on the Wii U. There's a level where you run through Hyrule and Sonic gets a little Link hat and you can collect rupees. It's like... It's not a bad game. It's just kind of nothing. Like, if someone was like, hey, should I play Sonic Lost World? I would be like... Eh? Eh? The big six? Yeah, what are they... What are they actually called? It's like... Something... Six. <laughs> I don't like this game. I don't know. Eh. Eh. It's just kind of nothing. Deadly Six. Yeah. They're just... I don't... Care. <laughs> Can I make a new tier that's like not E, not D. It's just like... Eh. Like... Eh. I was really disappointed with this game because it was, I think, the first Sonic game to come out after Generations, and Generations was really good. And then this game came out and was like, nothing. <laughs> Just, eh. I guess I'll put it in D because it's not, like, painful to play. But it's not, like, I wish there was a tier between these two. Void tier, yeah. I've kind of been doing C as it exists here. Yeah, like, I guess Son playing Sonic Lost World is objectively better than playing Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in C. Um, uh, where was I? Oh, another Olympics game. Yeah. Sonic Classic Collection. I think this was on the DS. And it's fine. I don't know. It has Sonic 3 and Knuckles in it. Maybe at least the other games are bad enough to be entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, like, C is the bottom of it's not a bad game, 
but it, it's eh. And then D is, it is a bad game, but like maybe play it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this, um, it's good. It has Sonic 3 and Knuckles in it, and 1 and 2, and I think it's just on the DS. Like, fine. I don't remember what the extras are, but whatever. <laughs> sure, I'll put that there, I guess. Uh... Wait, is this... Th oh, this is 3DS Sonic Generations. Oh, okay, this... <laughs> 360 PS3 Generations and, like, Steam Generations goes up here. 3DS Generations is not as good. Um, it has... So it has d different levels than this one. Um, the music is still really good. Uh, but the level design is significantly worse. <laughs> Like, I think it's... Green Hill Zone is the first stage, and the second one, instead of... Is... Yeah, instead of Chemical Plant, I think it's Casino Night. And then the third one, instead of... Uh, uh, Sky Sanctuary is Mushroom Hill. But the... For the classic Sonic levels, they just copied the level design from the old game, like, one-to-one. -one. Like, it's just the same level in 3D. Which would be cool if it was just a whole, like, 3D remake of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but that's not what it is. Uh, and then the modern Sonic levels are... Just, it's like Sonic Rush if it was worse. <laughs> um, yeah, mostly I just remember, like, Radical Highway Classic has, like, long stretches where you're just running on a straight bridge with nothing on it. There's, like, three rings, and you're just doing that for, like, 30 seconds. <laughs> Uh, HD Sonic Generations good, 3DS Sonic Generations bad, but the soundtrack's really good. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember where, like, which specific Olympic Games game I have played, because they're kind of all the same. Uh, I think. But, like, they're all, like, fine uh sonic boom shattered crystal wait which one was that i mean i haven't played that either but it's not this one was this also on the 3ds maybe i don't know whatever sonic colors some kind of european person made this list because there's a bunch of european box arts uh, colors? Uh. Colors has really good music. The act one of all the levels are pretty good. Uh. Didn't like the actual gameplay? Yeah, I... It has a lot of cool things going for it, but I... Eh. Like, I played through it once and then, like, kind of never touched it after that. <laughs> I guess I'd put it here. Like, the color powers are kind of neat. The, uh, the music is really good. There's a lot of cool stuff about it but it's like eh. the ds version has a true last boss the wii version doesn't <laughs> oh yeah the ds version of sonic colors actually kind of liked better than the the wii one because it's basically sonic rush 3 <laughs> but yeah like the asteroid coaster level is really cool the starlight carnival level is really cool but just like as like a thing that exists like, I can't, I couldn't tell you anything about the actual, like, level design other than, like, I don't know, there's that one part where it's, like, basically a cutscene. And it's really pretty and cool. <laughs> uh, Sonic Mania Plus? Why is this a different, why is this listed as a separate game? I guess because they released it physically separately, but it was just DLC for Mania. It was good. I don't know. Put it in A, I guess. <laughs> for me, basically, Sonic Rush 3 is not an endorsement. Oh, for me, it is. 
Uh, Riders Zero Gravity, I never played. I only ever played the first Riders. Um, but I heard this one was, like, also good, I think. But never played it. Um, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing is good. I didn't have the 360 version of it, but it, it's good. Oh, this is the DS one. Okay, I'll put that one in B, and then the Wii Sonic Colors goes into C. The level design in Rush is atrocious? I don't. <laughs> Hello, Eve. Uh, more Olympics games. The the really bad Sonic Boom game. Uh, All-Stars Racing Transformed is really, really good. It's like one of my favorite kart racers ever. <laughs> uh, like, I like this game more than... Probably most Mario Karts. It's really fun. Oh, this is 3DS Lost World. I never played this. Man, they gotta crop these better. Alright, the Wii one goes there. <laughs> Tran yeah, re transformed better than Mario Kart 8. I don't even think that's a hot take. <laughs> uh, Team Sonic Racing, I never played, but I heard it was... It's made by the same dev team that made the All-Star ones, but... I heard it was a lot worse. Um, it does have like kind of a neat like team mechanic thing where you uh, you you kind of play as yourself, but also you have two teammates that can like you're kind of all racing together, sort of. Mario Kart 8 is too easy. <laughs> Orange! Orange, you're too good at kart racers. <laughs> Like, if I, put, if I was putting Mario Kart 8 in here, it would probably be, like, probably A, I think. Uh, Alright, Team Sonic Racing I didn't play. This is the, like, Steam version of Sonic CD, I guess? That's It's also, like, it's a little better than this because it has widescreen. I guess I'll demote this to A rank only because this is here. <laughs> okay, Zoomer, as in you do be Zooming. <laughs> Uh, oh, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Um, I mean, it's just Puyo Puyo. <laughs> but, like, the Sonic, the, like, Saturday morning cartoon themed. It feels like it is a Sonic game. It just feels weird to rank it against all these other ones because it's not the same. But, like, it's it's good. It's just Puyo. Uh, Sonic Drift 2... Is not good. <laughs> uh, it's just eh. the funny thing, at least, is that Sonic Drift Two like came out outside of Japan, but Sonic Drift One was only in Japan, so we only got this one. Um, and I've only played this, I think, either in like Gems Collection or like my cousin had this on his Game Gear. Um, it's a not very good Sonic Kart racer. <laughs> um, it's like Super Mario Kart, like the very first one, except worse. <laughs> um, played a lot of Bean Machine inside my collection. Puyo is cool. She got more English Puyo games. Oh yeah, I guess a lot of them don't come out here. They should though. Puyo is good. Uh, Master System Robotnik Mean Machine, I don't think I've played, but it's probably just worse than the Genesis one. <laughs> I don't know why Sega did that so much. Like, the Genesis came out, and they kept making games that came out for both consoles at the same time, but the Master System ones were usually just strictly worse than the Genesis ones. Like, And, like, for a lot of them, like, these two are just completely different games. Like, they're not the same. Like, whenever anyone says Sonic 1 or Sonic 2, they're never talking about these games. <laughs> um, more Olympics games. Wacky Worlds? Oh, I think that's like a weird, like, sort of Mario Paint, but on the Genesis? I've never played it. Um, oh god, I have to start scrolling down. Uh, okay. Sonic Spinball is... Pretty good? I 
put it here. Yeah. Sonic Spin Ball is pretty good. It's short, and it's kind of hard. Um, but other than the option screen music, the music is really good. Uh, and it's just like a fun, weird pinball, but your Sonic game. Um, and there's like boss fights and stuff that are kind of fun. I like Sonic Spin Ball. I don't know. <laughs> I had a Sega Smash pack on like our old Windows computer growing up, and it had Sonic Spin Ball, and I played it a bunch. I kind of like it. It's like a weird pinball game. Um, but you have to like collect Chaos Emeralds, and sometimes you can like run around a little bit as Sonic. There's boss fights. It's really hard. <laughs> Sonic Pinball, notable for the Tesla Coil options menu tune. It's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but they like mixed the options menu music very bad, and the Tesla Coil music sound is like 18 times louder than it should be. <laughs> Because I've heard on YouTube you can find, like, versions of that song that, like, people have kind of corrected it so that, like, that part isn't as loud and, like, the bass part's a little louder, and it, it's good. Like, it's fine. Like, decent, I don't know, options music. Doesn't sound painful to listen to. Um, Sonic Triple Trouble, I've only played a little bit. It's, like, fine. The actual Game Gear release of it. The 16-bit version is, like, up here, but that's, like, a fan game, and I... This doesn't have fan games on it, and I'm glad that it doesn't, because otherwise this would be infinitely long, and I would be here forever. Um, this is Sonic Runners? Yeah. Or Runners Adventure, I don't know. Uh, it's a phone game, like, auto-scroller. Um, what are those called? Like an auto-runner kind of thing. Like, the only gameplay you do is, like, tap to jump. Um, but it had really good music and you could just kind of play forever until you died uh i would like play it while taking like public transportation a lot it was fun it had a lot of stuff you could do um and then for some reason they took it down and replaced it with a worse version of it uh which is i think called runner's adventure which i think still exists but like only on ios or something i don't know sonic runners is i'm I'm putting that in B. <laughs> it's a good Sonic phone game. Uh, Sonic Drift? The first one. I don't think I've played it, or if I have, it's like... Eh? But the mobile with super cute costumes and gotcha? I... No, that one doesn't have costumes, I think. I think that one is the Sonic Forces phone game? I don't know, there's like three active Sonic phone games. Uh, Sonic Drift 1, I don't think I've played, or if I have, it would just go in D tier. It's not good. Sonic 2 has more, Sonic Drift 2 has more characters. Uh, like I remember you could play as Metal Sonic, and I thought that was really cool as a kid. Because I love Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic is cool. Uh, oh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, easy. S tier. One of the best Sonic games ever. It's easily one of my favorite. Um... <laughs> Sonic Labyrinth! Oh my god, I forgot about this. This game's really bad. Don't... Like, if you... If Sonic Dream Team is on the list, uh, I've never played it. I don't have an iPhone. that, And I don't want to pay for Apple Arcade. So if they ever port it to something else, I'll probably play it. But it looks really good. But it's an Apple Arcade jail, and I won't play it until it's out of there. Um, yeah, Sonic Labyrinth is hilariously bad. It's um, it's like a puzzle game. It's like an it's like a isometric, let's you know, you little like top-down Sonic game kind of. Um, <laughs> the plot is at least really funny. The plot is that Robotnik snuck into Sonic's house at night. I didn't, like, kill him or anything. Just replaced his shoes with shoes that make him unable to run fast. Um, so... Uh... The whole game is just, like... Kind of nondescript, like, grid 
like checkerboard levels. Um, or I guess the gameplay is kind of like Sonic 3D Blast, like you have to kill all the enemies and then leave the level. Um, but the only two speeds you have are walking, which is annoyingly slow, and you can spin dash, but the spin dash is extremely fast and you bounce off walls. So your two speeds are... Oh, also you can't jump. Um, also, I don't know why Sonic doesn't just take the shoes off. I think Robotnik put, like, glue in there or something. It's a really... <laughs> the plot is very silly. Unfortunately, the gameplay is really bad. <laughs> you see, the power was my leather shoes the entire time. Yeah! Like, even as a kid, I was like, I don't know that this game holds... Like, <laughs> the plot of this game holds up, like... Why can't you just take the shoes off? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the only... You can just walk around or spin dash. Both are annoying to control and bad. Scared to ask, but what does Sonic's feet look like without shoes? I... I don't know, probably just... Feet... I don't... I don't want to think about it. <laughs> don't... <laughs> A singular toe each. It's just like two hot dogs on the end of his feet. Or ankles, I guess. Uh, more Olympics games. Oh, actually, if you ever see the um, the Sonic and Mario Olympics games at an arcade, play those. Those are really fun. It has like a little like... Not like treadmill thing, but like... It has the different mini games. like you wave your arms and like jump and run and stuff. And it's really fun. <laughs> uh, it's a good arcade game. Uh, oh God, we're like down here. Sonic the Hedgehog's Game World. I don't... It sounds... It sounds familiar. I've probably heard of it on some online list of obscure Sonic games that exist. Um, but I haven't played it. So I'm not going to rank it. Dave and Busters has that. Yeah, I played it at like a round one. Um, I don't know. I kind of like him. Uh, Sonic Forces is like aggressively boring. I would say, um, it's, you can, it came out kind of after Dragon Ball Xenoverse, and I don't know if they were, if this was a coincidence, or if they explicitly were doing this, but it did just kind of feel like they copied the, like, you can make your own character and be friends with Goku, except in this game it's Sonic, um, which is on its own pretty great. Love to be Sonic's best friend and we can fist bump and then <laughs> run through a level wall. Um, a song sung by the singer from Hoobastank, I think, plays. That's, like, objectively pretty funny. Um, a shame about the rest of the game. <laughs> Mario and Sonic at Winter for 3DS was really good. It had a whole story campaign. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I think a lot of them have, like, a story thing. Um, and they have, like, funny interactions between, like, Eggman and Robotnik and... Or Eggman and Bowser uh, and stuff. I think that I think most of the Olympics games are, like, good, like, okay at worst. Um, there's so many of them, though. <laughs> I've only played, I think, one or two. And like it's fine uh but yeah i don't like sonic forces at all um all of the levels feel sonic forces feels like half of a game but not in the way that uh like sonic 3 is literally half of a game like they cut the game in half and sold it as two separate games uh sonic forces every single level feels like it's half of a level like, it just feels like you are going through a level, something interesting is about to happen, but instead, that's the end of the level. <laughs> uh, the plot's really weird, too. It, like, starts with, like, the... Uh, like, Eggman already took over the world, and Sonic is in prison. Like, the Eggman captured him. Uh... It's really weird. Like, the first trailer for it versus the actual finished game, like, you can again tell that Sega just didn't give them time to finish the game. 
Sonic Forces marketing with the final product is so sad. Same, same with Sonic 4, honestly. Like, Forces, they put out a trailer that showed, like, oh, all these villains are back for whatever reason. Isn't that weird? Also, Shadow is going to fight you, maybe. Uh, and then in the actual game, it's like, uh, it turns out we couldn't figure out how to make that interesting, so all of them were holograms, and most of them get beaten in a cutscene by Shadow, or uh, are... They are standing on a boss fight that you fight that has nothing to do with them. They're just kind of there. <laughs> um, don't play Sonic Forces. Also, Classic Sonic is there for some reason. It's like they made Sonic Generations and everyone liked it. So they were like, oh, let's do that again. But without all of the things that people liked from Generations. Um, and it's not a good game. That's my opinion of Sonic Forces. <laughs> Uh, Heroes, I think, is all right. I would put that in B or C, I think. Um, it's, I feel like, starting with, like, Sonic Adventure 2, I guess, like, there's sort of a, you can kind of graph, like, a decline in the quality of Sonic games that sort of bottoms out at 06. <laughs> um... At least for, like, the main, like, console games. Um, and then, like, it picks up again with, like, Unleashed is up here. And then uh, Generations is there. I guess Colors was a little worse. But, like, it was never this bad again for a while. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I feel like, yeah, Heroes is, like, not as good as Adventure 1 or 2. I put Adventure 1. Oh, here. But it was like, all right. Um, I did also play it when I was a kid and had infinite free time. So I didn't mind that you have to... It's kind of like... There's the four teams you can play as. There's Team Sonic, Amy, Dark, and Chaotix. And it's... Like... Team Sonic is basically playing through the game on normal mode. Team Amy is sort of playing through the game on easy mode. Team Dark is through, like playing it through on hard mode and then team chaotix is like playing through it on i don't know like gimmick slash puzzle mode uh like all of the levels the objective is almost never to get to the end it's always like do this specific thing like find all these things in the stage if you get make it to the end it'll just warp you back to the start um and after you do all of those like in I don't know, sonic adventure you get like a last story thing find the hermit crafts yeah and then, uh, some of the levels are kind of annoying. Uh, and then you get a big final boss where you take turns playing as all the different teams and you fight a gigantic Metal Sonic. And it's pretty cool. Uh... I thought the plot was cool. They also kind of had to deal with the fact that, uh, they put Shadow in this game after Sonic Adventure 2 made it pretty clear that Shadow was probably dead <laughs> at the end. Um, and then he just kind of shows up in battle and is also in Heroes. Uh, so, at the, like, in Heroes, they were like, uh, maybe he's a robot, question mark. <laughs> um, is this just base Sonic Adventure 2? Yeah, it goes up here, too. Good. Good game. The only really difference between these two is, like, some of the Chow stuff and like Battle has more multiplayer stuff and like Chow Karate. But otherwise, they're basically the same game. It's like different from like this one and this one. Uh, no, I have not ranked the storybook games. You already know where I'm going to put them. <laughs> Probably. Sonic 4 Episode 2 is better than Sonic 4 Episode 1 a little bit. The only reason I played Sonic 4 Episode 2 was because I heard some people saying that it wasn't as bad as Episode 1, and also that someone made a mod that replaces all of the music with the soundtrack to Panty and Stocking. Uh, but it's not good. Um, I did it to do that, and it, it was... Like, so Sonic 4 Episode 1, you only play as Sonic, and there's, it's bad. Sonic 4 Episode 2... Uh, you play a Sonic with Tails following you, and you can do the thing where, like, Tails will grab Sonic and fly. 
or there's like a team up spin dash thing you can do. Uh, but I found out um, extremely early on that the team up spin dash thing kind of just beats the level for you because it makes them into a big ball and just kind of roll forwards at a pretty fast speed and you can jump without like stopping it and if you get hit it doesn't hurt you it just makes you like not do the big spin dash anymore so you can basically beat every single level in the game by only doing that and jumping whenever there's a pit that's kind of it it is a little better than episode one, but don't play either <laughs> either part of Sonic 4. I think it was supposed to have a third episode, but it was <laughs> people did not like them so much that they just canceled the third one entirely, I think. Uh, Sega Heroes, that looks like a phone game I've never played. Oh yeah, it even has little things. Yeah, I don't think I've played that. I actually think I might have interviewed at like a company that did some work on this game or something it didn't come up in the interview but uh i re <laughs> i remember the interviewer asking me like oh do you have any questions for me and i was like uh no i don't really think so and he sounded so sad when he was like you don't want to hear about our company culture <laughs> and i was like no <laughs> this is their way of fixing the level design by having you skip it yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would put the game is oak isn't bad because you can just not play it. <laughs> uh, Sega Genesis Collection. I don't think I had this one. I guess it has probably Sonic One or Two in it though. That's that's good for people that had a PS2 and had this game. Uh, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog is an arcade game. Where you have to use a trackball, and it's the only game other than, I guess, Mania now that has Ray the Squirrel in it. Um, eh. it's you could do you can have three people play it at the same time if you have a trackball. <laughs> it's pretty easy to emulate. Otherwise, the controls get really weird. Um. It's fine. I'd play it if I saw it in an arcade, but I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to play it. It's, like, it's okay. <laughs> it has nice art. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog is alright? This feels weird putting it above Heroes, because I remember at the time playing it and being like, this is worse, but I don't know. <laughs> Both of these games make you play through the game multiple times to get, like, the ending. Uh, I guess I'd probably just put them both at C. Like, they're not really bad, but they're not... I'll put Shadow here. Fuck it. <laughs> it's the Shadow with a gun game... Haha. <laughs> the Dragon Guard of Sonic games. I it's not that it doesn't hate the player that much. <laughs> uh I think you do have to like see all of the individual endings. There's like seven or something to get the the true ending thing. Oh, also the menus, uh whenever you like, press A, like, confirm on the menu, it plays a gunshot noise, and that's pretty good. <laughs> um, it, it's just... So, I think this game exists because before it came out, I think, um, there was a poll on, like, the Sega of Japan website, I think, or whatever, asking, like, hey, if we did a game based on one Sonic character that isn't Sonic, what should we do? Um... Like, what character would you want it to be? And I think the options were, like, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow. Amy was probably on it, too. I don't know. But Shadow won by, like, a landslide. Um, especially because they kept, like, he's introduced in this game. And then at the end is probably dead. And then he just kind of shows up in Heroes and Battle. And even he seems confused as to why he's there and alive and not dead. Um, 
so I don't know if the poll actually influenced them making this game or if they were planning to anyway, but uh, it explains his... It gives his backstory more detail than it needed. Uh, and then at the very end in the final boss fight, if you don't kill it within like 10 minutes, Eggman is just like, uh, hey, you're the real one. Sorry for gaslighting you. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, but like the gameplay is pretty good. It's got nice animations and stuff. Sometimes the level objectives are annoying, but you, it, it's, you don't, there's three objectives in every level and you only have to do one. So like, if the objective's annoying, it's like, well, sorry, I'd like to be a good guy, but I, the, killing every alien in this level is annoying, so I'm gonna just be evil instead, or neutral. <laughs> it's, it's fine. I would, I think I would put Shadow above Heroes. I think. Maybe. Uh, Sonic Spinball Master System? Oh, I don't think I've played that. What is this? Oh, is this just actual Sonic 1? Oh. Uh, it's fine. The B tier is getting... I guess I'm doing a nice bell curve. Good job, me. <laughs> um. Yeah. Sonic 1, it's the first one. It's it's pretty good. Um, it's good. I don't know. It's just a good game. 2 is a lot better, and so is 3 and Knuckles. <laughs> uh, but, like, it's fine. <laughs> Some of the levels in Sonic 1 are not great. Like, I feel like most people don't really like Marble Zone very much. <laughs> Which is a shame, because it's the second level in the game. Uh, but, yeah, it's just, like, really slow, and there's a lot of lava, and... Meh. <laughs> it's kind of very up and down, I think, with the levels. Whereas, like, 2 is mostly good, and Sonic 3 and Knuckles is also mostly good. Like 1, you can kind of tell it's the first one. <laughs> God, I'm in the third row. There's so many Olympics games. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh, these are like the phone versions of 1 and 2, I think. So it's like they have widescreen and like you can spin dash in Sonic 1 and stuff. So, uh, I'd kind of do the same thing, I guess. Like, the it's a slightly better version of Sonic 1 and a slightly better version of Sonic 2 that has an extra level in it. So, sure? Yeah? It's it's mostly the same game, just a little better. <laughs> um... Oh, Sonic 3D Blast is not... amazing. <laughs> um, I'll just do both of these at the same time. They're mostly the same game... The Saturn one has better special stages and I think better music. Ah, they both have good music. Ink. Like, eh. Overall, it's not a very good game. But it, it, mm. the Saturn one I think is a little better maybe. Um, I played the PC port, which is I think a port of the Saturn version? But I'm not sure. <laughs> um, what's next? Oh, Sonic and Knuckles? That's half a game, but it's half of a good game. Um, yeah, I'm putting Sonic 3 and Sonic & Knuckles here, because... Eh, I'll put Sonic & Knuckles a little lower, actually. Because Sonic... So... Sonic 3... 
has like save file stuff and you can play as uh like you can pick like what level to do once you beat the game like you go back and get all the chaos emeralds and stuff sonic and knuckles doesn't have the save file stuff you just pick if you want to play as sonic or knuckles at the start of the game and then you have to beat the game without turning the console off <laughs> um and that's it that but that's the entire game like sonic 3 has like a multiplayer thing and you can play as different characters and like save your progress and stuff um yeah i really like the logo though this is like it's so good <laughs> i i almost want a tattoo of this but i shouldn't <laughs> i don't think i should do that <laughs> i used to have this as like a mouse pad for a while um okay storybook games secret rings is here black knight is here i remember that's exactly how i felt like talking to my friends online who played sonic games was that secret rings was like kind of a c plus of a sonic game and then black knight was like a b minus like the, they both have very similar gameplay in that it, like, you just kind of, like, Sonic sort of automatically runs forwards, sort of, and you just kind of move left to right, like, on a track, kind of, and then jump and, like, homing attack and stuff. Uh, but, like, it's, eh. You should put uh, Black Knight in S plus tier, it has the best story. No, I'm not gonna do that. I beat it for Magical Girl. <laughs> yeah. The plot in both is cute. I like the writing in them, but I just, the game, like Secret Rings is really annoying, I think. Um, like there's a lot of like traps and like spike traps and stuff that like you can't know about unless you've already played the level. And it's not even like, oh, if you see it coming, you can dodge it. It's like, no, it's an invisible thing in the wall that when you move past, it will kill you unless you like already know it's there um black knight doesn't have that as much um but it's still kind of the same ish gameplay wise do you remember how secret rings ended uh i mostly just remember flailing the wii remote a lot um and sonic had that weird transformation where he had like the racing stripes on his face <laughs> um doesn't he just, like, kill somebody? <laughs> I forget the exact ending of Secret Rings. Um, they only made two of these, which is kind of a shame, because it was a neat idea of just, like, put Sonic in, like, old, like, kind of fairy tale kind of things. This is, like, King Arthur stuff, and this is, like, Arabian Nights. A Mountain of Handkerchiefs. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Eh. <laughs> that was a transformation that exists. I asked a friend about it and he didn't even know what I was talking about. Yeah, I mean, it's only in one game and it's just, like, darker blue Sonic with no eyes. And he has two white stripes going from his forehead to, like, the back of his, I don't know, top spine thing <laughs> hello tuesday uh the one in sonic and the black knight was like basically just supersonic but he's wearing armor so that's cool um i don't know i don't really feel a need to replay this game though <laughs> oh this game also had like a weird like board game multiplayer mode and you could play as like silver and stuff uh yeah like they i think secret rings i remember hearing at the time that like they were going to just port this sonic 06 to the wii and then when they realized that they couldn't do that not even because 06 wasn't a good game they were just like oh this won't work on the wii but then they made this and before i played this because i thought this was a good game uh, i remember as a little robot being really annoyed that i had to play this which i did not like 
instead of this, which I assumed must have been a good game. Because all the complaints were like, oh, the camera is bad, the controls are weird. Because um, people also complained about those in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, so I kind of just assumed it was people complaining about the same things. Uh, but then I watched a Let's Play of it, and then I also played it for myself. This game is not good. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'd like, maybe my opinion of these two would change... Probably not better <laughs> if I, like, replayed them now, but at least how I remember them, like... They weren't... horrible. They were just kind of eh, and the gameplay was sort of annoying. This one was a little better to play, I thought. Um, yeah, they only ever made two. Same with Sonic 4. <laughs> at least these were better. What? Okay, wait, chat. If they were going to make a third storybook game, what should they put Sonic in? They've already done, like, Arthurian Legend and, like, uh, this one's uh, Arabian Nights stuff. So, like, what other... Sonic and the Three Bears. <laughs> He just gets to the house and starts eating all their food. <laughs> oh, Greek mythology would be cool. <laughs> Wait, that would just be God of War. <laughs> Not that that would be a bad thing, though. <laughs> Put him in the blender. <laughs> God of War is good. You're right. They should put Sonic in God of War. <laughs> no, wait, put Shadow in God of War. Don't put Sonic. <laughs> Uh, Sonic compilation? That's just Sonic 1 and 2 and Mean Bean Machine? Why is this in here? Who made this? Sonic and the Indian in the cupboard? <laughs> Put a poll or something after Black Knight asking what the third storybook game should be based off. Oh, what were the options? Do you remember? Put Silver in Dragon Ball Z. He's already Trunks! What do you mean, put him in Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Even in, like, the concept art, like, design documents for Silver the Hedgehog, there's a little note that's like, you know, like, Trunks from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, and Greek Myth 1? Oh, that would have been good. Like, they made this, they made Black Knight a little better than Secret Rings, I thought. Maybe they would have made a Greek Sonic, Greek Myth Sonic game, and it would have been really good. Silver is literally Trunks. That's, like, th the point. <laughs> He is supposed to be Trunks. He's from the future that has been destroyed, and he came back to fix it. He's a reference to Trunks, who is a reference to the Terminator 2. Sonic Epic of Gilgamesh? That would also be good. Sonic Don Quixote. Uh, this is another phone game. Don't think I've played it. Uh, oh, Mega Collection on the... Okay, well, I guess I'll put this here and take this down. I don't remember what was in Plus that wasn't in the regular one. Plus was on the PS2 and 360. The regular one was just on GameCube. Ugh. Who would Enkidu be? Uh, Green Tails. Sonic can't be Don Quixote. <laughs> I don't... Well, because I don't think he's usually is like a character from the well i guess in black knight he was sort of king arthur i don't remember now actually <laughs> soon sonic would be gilgamesh i guess yeah scourge that would be funny or surge from the comics because <laughs> i think surge is allowed to be in the games <laughs> When you mentioned Don Quixote, my brain was like, Limit's company that remembers she's based on the famous book. Morgana, Don Quixote is a guy. <laughs> <laughs> like the actual character Don Quixote from like the like stories? It, like it's a dude. He's like an explorer. <laughs> sort of. Yeah, but Limit's company is female. Ah. Uh. Um, anyway, writers. Riders was was all right. Not uh, C or B, I think. Um, yeah. Where did where'd that go? 
Oh, here. No, I'd put it in B. I might actually put it in A. Hold on. I haven't put a lot of games in A. Eh. <laughs> Sonic Racing sucks with my cool hoverboards. Yeah, Sonic Riders! <laughs> I liked it though. It's like a fun racing game and you also do like tricks and stuff. There's even like the different types of... There's like mostly the boards, but then you can also unlock different gear types and some of them are just air shoes. <laughs> so then everyone is Shadow. Uh, I know you could... I think I unlocked Super Sonic in this game, but he kind of sucks. Like he's really fast, but he's constantly draining rings if you hit zero... Something bad happens. I don't remember. He's not good. It's not like in Sonic R where you just pick Super Sonic and then you win. <laughs> oh, I could put this up here. This up here too. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Where are we? Sonic Rivals and Rivals Two. I haven't really played either of them. I think I played one of them for like a few minutes. <laughs> but like not really enough to have an opinion on it. <laughs> it's like a single player racing game. I mean, I think it has a multiplayer mode. I never owned a PSP is why um, I've only ever played them on an emulator, but also only for a little bit. Like this one is just Sonic, Silver, Shadow and Knuckles. Uh, but it's kind of like every stage is sort of like the Tails levels in Sonic Adventure, where, like, it's always a race against other people, or, like, other characters. Um, but yeah, I've never really played either of them that much. Um, I think, I think generally I've heard they're, like, okay. They're, like, not bad. They're, what, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't played them. <laughs> Uh, Sonic R is not a good game. <laughs> um. I don't know if I'd put it in D or C. Probably D? It's like, it's not good. <laughs> it's really, it's kind of horribly balanced. Uh, like, at the very start of the game, if you have unlocked no characters, if you pick Sonic, you win, kind of. Like, he's the fastest. Like, he doesn't have good, like, handling, but you can kind of make up for it. They could make a better version of this game, for sure. I guess they kind of did in a Sonic Riders. <laughs> but they could make Sonic Riders without the tricks and stuff. But then also, like, what? Any Riders is just a better version of Sonic R. <laughs> Sonic R is not good. It's at least kind of... the. It's not good. The music is cheesy and fun. Um, and the levels are, like, different. Uh, there's lots of stuff to unlock. Um, it's got Mecha Knuckles and the Tails doll that spawned a bunch of bad creepypasta in like the early 2000s um but it's not good um also i guess based on where all the sega saturn games are ending up on here you can kind of see why no one knew what sonic was when i was growing up <laughs> the only good games were the older ones and the recent ones were all bad <laughs> uh, and also on consoles nobody owned um I'm pretty sure the Saturn kind of only sold well in Japan. <laughs> uh, Sonic Rush, I like a lot. Um, it's the first game that had like the boost mechanic stuff. It also has Blaze, who's cat with fire powers. And well, I like it a lot. The music's by Hideki Naganuma, who uh, also did the music for Jet Set Radio. Um... <laughs> It's a very distinct, weird music style, kind of. Lots of samples. Uh, I don't know. I like Rush a lot. I think Rush is really good. I would play Rush right now if I had my DS. 
Uh, Sonic Chaos. Oh, I think I was confusing that for Sonic Blast. There's a lot of... Like... Kind of whatever to bad portable games on the Game Gear. <laughs> I've played Sonic Chaos a little bit. I think I'd probably put it here. <laughs> it's not extremely bad, but it's... <laughs> uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. I think I had this, and I don't really know why. I had it on the PS3, but it was, like... I guess it had a bunch of Sega, like, Genesis games, but also just other... I don't know, it's just a Sega Genesis game compilation. It's, like, fine. <laughs> Uh, Sonic X for the Leapster. Have not played that. Oh, Sonic Pocket Adventure for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I've never owned one of those, but I emulated this. It's really good. It's kind of just like Sonic 2's level themes, but different, like not exactly the same level layout and such. Um, and it's on the Neo Geo Pocket Color, which is essentially a Game Boy Color kind of. Uh, it's just like nice 8-bit Sonic 2. It's good. Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection is a pretty good game compilation. It has like five Sonic games. Yeah, like... It's, eh. <laughs> it's fine. Mostly Genesis games. Uh, This is... I don't... I wish they labeled these. Because this is probably Runner's Adventure, which is not as good as Sonic Runner's. Put that one there guess? I don't know. I have played Sonic X for the Leafster. It's like, what if Sonic 1 was worth and stopped you every minute to do basic math? Oh, wait, is Sonic Schoolhouse on here? It is! This game sucks. <laughs> don't play Sonic Schoolhouse. We ha It's a, like, Windows 95 I think only game? It's an educational game that has Sonic in it sort of he mostly just shows up to tell you that you're bad at math, and then you have to run around, and there'll be, like, a math problem written on a chalkboard, and you have to go find and beat up the number that is the correct answer. Um, I played it when I was a very little child, and I was extremely bad at video games, and this video game in particular, but it was a Sonic game that we had. <laughs> um... Don't play it, it's not good. <laughs> uh, oh, Sonic the Fighters is pretty good. I would put that... Hear me. No, it's not that good. <laughs> it's... I like the art style and the music a lot. Um, and it's a pretty janky fighting game. Uh, if you like... Janky fighting games. <laughs> Um, but it's, like, if you want to play a good fighting game, don't play Sonic the Fighters. If you want to play a janky Sonic fighting game, absolutely play Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> Back when Zero was but a little toaster. Yeah. <laughs> I was, like, tiny. Uh, why is Sonic Eraser on here? I thought that game was unreleased. <laughs> Why are there two versions of Tails? Oh, Tails Adventure and Tails Sky Patrol. Yeah, there's two portable games starring Tails. Uh, I have only played both of them a little, but Sky Patrol is kind of like an auto-scroller, like, sort of like 2D shooter you play as Tails. And, uh... It's, like, fine. Um, Tails Adventure, though, is pretty good. Um, I think there's, like, a fancier fan remake of it also uh, more recently, but I haven't played it. But Tales Adventure is, like, a Metroidvania. You play as Tales. Like, you go around and get different, like, power-ups and items and stuff and use them to explore. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, Sonic Eraser is a really bad... It's, an, it's a... The actual gameplay is just, like... Um, 
it's just like a match three kind of puzzle game. It's... I'm pretty... I, oh, maybe this was only on, like, Sega Channel, which was, like, a weird broadcast thing. You'd, like, plug in your, like, cable... Like, cable TV cord into your Sega Genesis, and you could stream some games sometimes. Uh, this game's really bad. It has awful music, and the actual... It's just a crappy puzzle game that Sonic is on the screen. Tales Adventure has an Archie comic ad adaptation? Oh, cool! I think I maybe knew that, and maybe forgot. <laughs> uh, this is this weird tale, Sonic, Waku Waku, Sonic something. It's it's like a little car that you pay money to go in, and it like shakes around a little bit, and I think there's maybe Sonic on a screen or something. It probably exists somewhere in Japan, but I don't really care enough to seek it out. <laughs> uh, this is, I think, the current... It's like Sonic Dash. Oh, this is Sonic Dash. I remembered now. Uh, which is like Subway Surfer, but Sonic... It's okay. This is Sonic Dash 2? Sonic Boom? Whatever. Which is the same game. It's exactly the same game. There's just some more stuff in it. That's kind of it. Uh, Sonic's Popcorn Shop is also like a weird op. It's just an arcade thing that like it gives you popcorn. Okay, so now I can sort through these games that I haven't played. Let me group all the Olympics ones over here. Olympics. Uh, Olympics. Olympics. More Olympics. Oh, I think I have this one. Now that I'm looking all of these. Or... I have one of the Wii U ones. I don't know which one it is, now that I'm looking at these. Uh... Oh, right, and I think the Olympic Winter Games thing was... Because all of these were, like, specific places, and I think the Olympic one, Winter Games one, was, like... They made it when there wasn't an Olympics, because it was cancelled due to COVID or something. <laughs> Have they not made one of these since 2016? I thought there was a newer one. Well, anyway, here's all the Sonic games I haven't played. <laughs> Most of them are... Eh. I don't really feel it. The only games in this list that I feel like I probably should play are Rivals and Rivals 2. Uh, the rest of them... Yeah. Team Sonic Racing I would kind of only play if I had two other people to be the teammates. <laughs> or like... And then also we had like two other teams of three to play against us. Like, doing this game fully multiplayer, I feel like could be fun, but I've still just heard that it's worse than the other two Sonic Racing games that the same devs made. Yeah, they're all skippable. Yeah. Like, I've played the important ones. Sonic 2 for the Master System. <laughs> There. Now, if anyone is ever like, hey, what's Zero of the Infinite's opinion on this Sonic game, and it's not one of these, you can pull up this handy image and go, well, she, for some reason, really likes uh, Sonic Battle. Eh. Some of these also, like, especially the older games, like, if I, ha I haven't played it recently, so this is mostly just how I feel about these games in my head right now. If I were to play each of these games right now, I this would probably be a little different, but I think overall this is about correct, I think. Is DS Colors not on there? No, it is. It's just cropped poorly, so you can't tell. This is the Wii one. Uh, DS Colors should be here. 
This is DS colors. I liked it a little better than the, the Wii one. Yeah, Rush, Adventure, and Colors here, DS Colors being here, feels correct to me. Uh, these phone games are all down here. <laughs> There's more phone games. These are just the ones that I remember that I have played. Actually, I haven't played this one. <laughs> but it's the same. Actually, no, wait, I have played it. I think I had I had this one, and then I was like, they made a new one? Why? And I downloaded it, and I was like, it's the same game. Why'd they make a new one? <laughs> uh, and then this is just this game, but worse. You can tell, because they took away the cell shading. <laughs> there you go. There you go, chat. Now you have my list of definitive... <laughs> Sonic opinions. I feel like I don't really have any, like, hot takes. <laughs> we did it. Oh, hey! It's almost six. Good timing. Wow. Oh, I should feed my cat. It gets my turn. You're a sane Sonic fan? Yeah, I mean, I used to, like, have an account on, like, Sonic Retro and, like, browse there. There are some wild opinions people have. <laughs> like, sometimes I'll just, like, go check the forums there, like, whenever a new Sonic game... Wait, Frontiers isn't on here! Wait! Uh, Frontiers, I would put in... A. takes 06 is decent 06 is bad the gameplay is not good um i didn't mind playing as sonic most of the time in 06 because it's bugged and there's a gem you can get so that you can just jump infinitely it's supposed to run out but it doesn't drain your power meter none of them do so eventually i got to the point where playing as sonic in 06 i meant i could just skip everything in a level if i just didn't feel like playing the level which was most of the time, I could just jump over everything. Um, there was also a gem you could get that would stop time. So if you ever had to fight anything, you'd just do that. Uh, and it's like, fine. It's The game isn't good, but it at least lets you do things that don't... that let you skip the bad parts, which is mostly the levels. Uh, the silver levels, I think mostly are fine, except for the one with the pool balls. That one took me like 45 minutes, and I wanted to break things. <laughs> Uh, the shadow levels are not good. They're like Sonic levels, except with more combat, but the combat isn't good. And sometimes there's vehicles, and the vehicles are not good. Uh, yes. <laughs> the bad parts of Sonic 06 are the parts where it is a video game, and you have to play it. Like, it's if you've never played Sonic 06... And want to kill some time with some friends, like find a cheap used copy if you have a PS3 or a 360 and play through it with some friends while like ordering takeout or something. But like don't don't play this on your own. It's not good. You won't enjoy it. <laughs> I played through this in college uh, while my roommates were watching and it was it was a funny experience to have but i the actual parts where i was playing the game was bad <laughs> best video experience i six is to watch the snap cube dub that's good also the pokey cap and let's play is good i think that's probably still on youtube it's old as hell though skimble skimble my boy how could you do this to me anyway i guess thanks to Needle Fox for making this tier list. Uh, but yeah, I'd put Frontiers in A. Or B. Like B and a half. B plus, A minus. The first three islands I liked a lot, 
and then you get an island that's all cutscenes and an island that's just reused assets from the first one. And the ending is really disappointing. And then they released DLC that had a lot of cool stuff, but the story, it was mostly padding. And then the stuff to get the extra boss fight thing was also really annoying and bad. So I feel like the DLC, I was hoping the DLC would improve the game, but it kind of was just a net meh. <laughs> Uh, but overall, I liked Frontiers a lot. I hope they get to make a whole game like that instead of three-fifths of a game that's like that. Uh, anything else I'm missing on here? They haven't, like, announced a new Sonic game or anything, so... Well, I guess the... the Sonic X Shadow Generations, but that'll probably just be at least here. <laughs> like, it's Sonic Generations, just they added a shadow story mode to it, so... Unless they messed it up somehow. <laughs> what are your hopes for a new Sonic game? Um... Uh, not worse. <laughs> not worse than A? Frontiers, I would say, is like, just barely makes it to A. Uh... But it would be S if it was like finished <laughs> ah, so a low bar yeah play sonic superstars which one's that wait like the tennis one this i want to bring back the sword well he's stuck in arthurian legend england but yeah I would not hate another storybook game, but I don't think they'll do it. <laughs> Sonic Superstars super recent by Balantos? Wait, that's not a good thing. <laughs> oh, I did play Sonic Superstars. Uh, it... I'd put that in B, I think. It starts nice, but then becomes really not good. Yeah! <laughs> I think... Every boss fight in that game, I thought, was annoying. <laughs> um, and it has a lot of things from, like, the older, like, Genesis Sonic games that I thought was, like, neat. Um, uh, the new character Trip is cute. Um, yeah, Sonic Superstars had a lot of good things in it, but overall, I... It has a lot of good and a lot of annoying things in it, so I'd put it in, like, B. Do you play the Apple Arcade exclusive one? Sonic Dream Team? No. I don't want to pay a subscription to play one game, so I'm just going to wait until it gets ported off of, uh, out of Apple Arcade, because I think some... Recently, there was, like, some Switch game in a Nintendo Direct that, like, formerly was Apple Arcade exclusive, so hopefully they port Dream Team to something I can play it on. Because um, it looks really good, and I've heard good things, but I don't really want to pay a monthly fee <laughs> to play that game. Uh, oh, right, but yeah, so Superstars B. It's, it's, I like a lot of the levels, and I dislike a lot of the boss fights. <laughs> mm. I think overall I would say most of the levels in Superstars are pretty good. Uh, except for the auto-scroller one near the end with all the fire and stuff. That level sucks. Uh, eh. Yeah. Oh, I didn't pay for Superstars either. <laughs> it It's like $60, right? Yeah, someone bought it for me. Um, yeah, I wouldn't pay $60 for Superstars either. <laughs> Uh, it is... I think I would say it's mostly good, but the bad parts are really annoying and are, like, boss fights, so you have to do them <laughs> to get to the rest of the game. Um... But yeah, it's it's mostly a good game. <laughs> but I put it in B. Um... Yeah, there we go. All right, I'll 
post this on Twitter, I guess. I'll add Frontiers and Superstars. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go feed my cats. Um, I might do like a karaoke stream tomorrow or Wednesday around the same time, maybe. Um, and then I will be away for the rest of the week. So I will probably not stream until like... Yep. I'm probably not going to have a lot of time to stream while I'm doing this class, so I might not really stream much until like October, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll be around on the internet either way, though. Um, but yeah, if I am going to stream tomorrow or Wednesday, I'll do the same thing as today and just like announce it like at least an hour before till Halloween. No, before that, um, my class is done in like the beginning of October. Uh, but yeah, just because it's even when the days where I don't have to go in person, it's nine to four. So like, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't really have a lot of time to stream anyway. Um, all right, let's let's find somebody to rate. I'm gonna raid Fia. She's, um, creating beautiful new Pokemon using science. What? Yeah, doing it. It'd be cool to be back for Halloween as the zombie computer. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, say computer to her. Spam some emotes if you have them. Uh, like. This one, Pride Month, is never over. There. Menacing. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for coming for this kind of last minute <laughs> stream. Uh, I had fun yapping about... <laughs> my opinions on Sonic games with y'all. Thanks for coming. Um, oh, well, have a good summer if I don't see most of y'all. <laughs> uh, otherwise, maybe I will see you later this week if I do another stream. Bye.